compound dovetails lock the wooden teeth into the cast iron gear at Watson's Mill. And that is my next process. And it has to be machined as would be a metal component, high tolerances. We're looking for consistency here. And so let me show you how we do it. Now, you know, we use jigs and fixtures. You might ask yourself, what's the difference between a jig and a fixture? Well, what I'm using here is uh, a fixture. And a fixture holds the component in relationship to a machine. In other words, it does all of the uh, holding so that the machine's operation can make it mill. Unlike a jig, which, you know, like a, a, a hinge jig, which would just guide a tool. Fixtures hold components in their relationship to the machine. And incidentally, fences and miter gauges are fixtures for your equipment. So that's the difference. Now that I've gotten to that stage where I've milled the two degree slope and all the other components, uh, two degree slope from there to there and the dovetail goes into the flat section. You can see this fixture created that slope just by tilting the fixture. And so the saw just stayed horizontally at 90 and the fixture holds the component at the two degrees. Okay, so, so that's a fixture, not a jig. Now after fitting the teeth, I marked their top because if it's a compound dovetail, it's wider at the top than it is the bottom. And so this fixture is tilted in such a way that will make that sloped cut. Problem is when I go to flip that over, it wouldn't make a compound miter because the fixture has to tip in the opposite direction. And so you can see I've done that here with the T marked on that side with a little note to add a filler strip underneath which tilts the fixture to the opposite direction for the next compound cut. Now I will need to raise the radial arm saw for that. And so I'll do one side flip, one side, then we'll change the fixture by flipping that over, adding our filler strip. Now, here's a question for you. Was that little filler strip a jig or a fixture? Isn't that funny? <laughs> At any rate, that's what it takes to get all of these components together. Now, notice I made two teeth in one. And what that does is allows me to hold that component more safely. Last thing I'll do is cut them in half to make two teeth. They're all fitted.